the greatest fruit ever. You know, I'm actually not too sure. I really like kiwis. Kiwis are also really good fruit. Hey everyone, welcome back. Paradox here. So this is my second vlog. Um, still not sure how I'm going to be going about these. I think for future weeks, what I'm going to do is as I go about my life, I'll just take some small notes about interesting things that happened or things that I, ugh, things I'd be willing to talk to you guys about. Like, for example, I was at the gym yesterday for the first time in essentially a year. And I made a new membership. Before, I had a, a downtown membership back when I used to work downtown, and now I you know, kind of work from home. So I got a membership near my house. I go there, and I'm used to doing cardio on those biking machines, but the, the feet, they would have these clasps. It's almost like if you've gone skiing or snowboarding, you put your foot in the boot, and in order to tighten it, you have a clasp, and it's metal, and it clicks to every single notch. So you could just pull it and the plastic would lock into place, like click, 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 click until it's tight enough. And then you can just push it down to release the pressure and get it loose. I didn't have that. It was this weird, weird ghetto ass um, non-plastic clasp. You had to push the thing out and yank it over and it was uh it was a nightmare. I did not enjoy that at all. If every time I want to do cardio I have to go through all that, uh, I'm not gonna get healthy anytime soon. But anyways, so it has been a pretty good week. Uh, at the gym, I, I had my friend, I, my friend Adam's been staying with me for about a week. He came Tuesday. He lives out in Ottawa, but he's in Montreal for the week to handle some subletting uh, issues with his old apartment here in Montreal. And he needed a place to crash, so I yeah, sure went up. And right now it's the Dream League tournament on Dota. So we've been watching a lot of that on Twitch in the living room. And when we went to the the gym and went back, we were too lazy to kind of bring bags with us because I have a lock, but being the genius that I am, I hadn't used it since the last time I went to the gym, which was about a year ago, right? And I didn't have the key combination. I scoured my Dropbox, I scoured my phone, scoured like everywhere, couldn't find it. So fuck it, didn't have the key for the gym or a lock for the gym. So we, we traveled light and it was weird. Last week I said it was spring and yeah, yesterday we had a sort of a mini blizzard. Oh, uh, no, blizzard's a bit of too much of a hyperbole. It was a, a good amount of snow that kind of crossed over the line. It was hail. Yeah, it was really weird. So we were walking there in sneakers on our way back. Adam being the genius that he was <laughs> decided to walk back in shorts. Yeah, it was good stuff. So the division's done. I finished playing the game and it was really good. Uh, I'm I'm still on the fence. Like I started taking notes about what I would say in a review if I filmed a review, but like the the closer I get to it, it's almost like ah, but eh, I don't know if my not that my opinion doesn't matter, but I'm not sure if I'm qualified enough almost to give like a full review. A comprehensive breakdown and everything but I think it's just fear of people not liking the video I'm sure if I just get up and do it it'll feel a lot better so I'm on the fence for that uh, but Rise of the Tomb Raider however now that is an excellent game that continues to be incredible except for the Baba Yaga expansion I'm actually uploading today I think yeah, I think it's today the first Baba Yaga episode I think it was two or three episodes I spent working on it um, it was an interesting expansion, but considering they're charging like 10 or $11 for it, for what you get, I wouldn't say it's super, super worth it. And oh my god, I can't stop like massaging this banana. <laughs> my sister, whenever she eats clementines, tangerines, those small little like mini oranges things, she loves massaging them, so I would always make fun of her, and that's why I was giggling. About the banana. Okay, I'm not using. I'm not bringing a banana on the vlog ever again. Fuck that. Too awkward. Uh, yeah, Rise of the Tomb Raider is fantastic. I absolutely love it. Lara is a fantastic heroine. I wish more games would have awesome female leads. I mean, the industry is kind of going, and I think a relatively healthy place. I think I'll probably talk about the game industry in a podcast. And speaking of podcasts, I am doing one later tonight with the four channels I mentioned la last week. 
uh, Darren X, Blue Bit, Liquid, and Ratch. Hopefully the podcast will go up either later tonight or tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. And what else? Batman versus Superman. I have strong reservations against the movie. I've I've seen the Metacritic score. I saw the trailers, which in my opinion were terrible. I mean, it, from what I hear, there's that one trailer that everyone knows about, and a lot of the people going to the movie were worried that if they saw the trailer, they kind of spoiled the entire movie, and they did. It turns out they absolutely did. It was a horrible, horrible trailer decision for all the information they included in it. It was pretty much like a by-the-numbers uh, mini version of the entire plot, which I think was ridiculous and sad. I'll still go see it because I'm a huge fan of Batman, and Ben Affleck's Batman seems to be the best part of the movie. Zack Snyder's take on the Gotham vigilante is very, very interesting. Very dark, which I'm all for. Uh, considering I just finished watching season two of Daredevil, which is a very dark and gritty Marvel show about Daredevil. It was a really good season. I, I gotta admit, though, I felt that the first... Well, first... three The first three quarters of the show, of the season, were excellent and then it really lost some steam i feel at the end there are so many lingering questions that i feel should not have been left to a next season they really should have been answered here and just weird character decisions um other than that though it was a good season i will say like i i still per i prefer kingpin as a villain over the villain of this season, who I won't say by name, I just felt that he was far, far more compelling. He's fascinating. He does make a cameo in this season and I, and does a fantastic job at it. My God, for, I don't, I'm not sure the actor's name. Vincent D'Onofrio. Yeah, this guy. Holy hell. Did he give the hell of a performance with Kingpin? I just love the take on the character. So, Daredevil Season 2, it was good. I would recommend it. If you like the first season, you will like this season. And they did... I can't believe they did it, but they topped the hallway fight scene. I... Wow, they did a fantastic job with that scene. Uh, so, definitely a good season. Joe Bernthal's phenomenal as the Punisher. I really liked Elektra. Uh, I forget her name. French actress. Ah, oh, God, here we go. Elodie Young. There we go, yes. French actress i did like her portrayal of electra now the thing is with regards to punisher daredevil electra like all these characters like i'm not a huge marvel comic guy and if you can see uh I, for this vlog i the camera's actually i can't see the screen i decided to use the rear camera so i'm worried that if i shift and i'll risk it whatever what could possibly go wrong so if you can see over there. It's a, it's a bit of a mess on the floor of unpacking some stuff, but there's a whole bunch of comics there. Those are all DC. But a little bit of Marvel. I have Ultimate Spider-Man. That's about it. I, I don't have too much experience with Daredevil and his entourage. So I can't say if they're really faithful to the comic book adaptations. But as a standalone television show, very, very good. I started watching House of Cards. Uh, my friend recommended it to me. It's not my kind of show, really. Like, I'm not too big on politics, crime, or things like that. But the acting carries the show. Kevin Spacey does do a phenomenal job, and I totally understand why he's selling this master class of his to help people learn how to act online from the comfort of their own houses. It's really cool. Uh, the acting is really cool. I, I'm worried that in the future seasons, Frank Underwood... I feel like he's just going to be in such a position of ultimate power where it's, well, what's what challenges does he face? We'll see. Uh, I'm, I think I'm about halfway done season one. It is it is pretty cool. It's definitely interesting. Like, there are some cool characters that I like, and I, I just hope that there are some more good people in the show. Like, Frank Underwood is clearly obsessed with power and manipulation and all that, which is fine, but... And, but yeah, so... It's been a pretty good week. A, a bit slower, because my friend was here but I think he leaves tonight so I should be able to you know, get back into recording I still have a good amount of Rise of the Two Major episodes on backlog so I have time to like really edit them out and bring them up to speed I do have my nice snazzy new intro that I love 
that you would have seen on this vlog and a few episodes prior. I think I started using it on Sunday. I think Sunday, yeah. Sunday or sa Saturday or Sunday. Really good. Uh, done by my friend Ben. Solid, solid job. So because I didn't have too much time this week, I didn't get a chance to really explore YouTube and find some more Let's Players that I'd love to interact with. So I don't have really shout outs this week to give to anyone, uh, but I did want to give some mentions to two entities. I wanted to give a mention to Crisper Odd. Uh, this guy is essentially my role model slash inspiration for Let's Playing. He, he does a stream of consciousness style very, very well. Uh, he's very engaging, very entertaining, uh, and that kind of style is what I like to go for. And he, <laughs> this guy got an early copy of Dark Souls 3 and it's taking so much restraint to not watch it. I'm so excited for this game, you have no idea. Oh God, I can't wait. And then the podcast, 99% Invisible by Roman Mars. I've been listening to that a lot more frequently. My sister really likes it. Um, and I've been listening to it a lot more. And it essentially kept me sane at the gym while I was cycling for like, geez, 45 minutes. <sighs> Physical activity. <laughs> I gotta get healthier though. I do, I do. I think that about covers it. I it's, it's a relatively short blog. Uh, I definitely know for next week that throughout the week I'm going to be taking a lot more notes, so I'm not scrambling like this one. In all honesty, I I might it maybe it would have been best if I hadn't uploaded one today because I don't think it's that interesting of a week. But I also wanted to at least have some consistency. So I, I, mean, I don't think it's bad. It's just I I could have had more interesting stuff to say. Anyway, I'm definitely learning on that. I'm going to improve on it, so next week it's going to be way more interesting. Hopefully I'll bring some stories. I do have some fantastic stories that I've like sort of retrieved from my archives and cataloged for fun times when I could tell them. So yeah, so that about that wraps it up for today. I still need to test out my Elgato. I think I'm going to get Unravel on the PS4, test it out on with the Elgato and see how that works. Hopefully this weekend, maybe Monday. Next week's gonna be far more interesting. Super exciting, I'm gonna be way more into it. Maybe I'll actually have a Red Bull that's not an empty can this time around. I want to get Guru Energy Drink, but the depth didn't have any. It was very sad. But anyways, as always, thank you all so much for tuning in. If you have any feedback, please, please, please let me know. I, I, I can only get better uh, so much by my own self-observation. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Whether you tweet it to me, message it to me, YouTube it, Facebook it, whatever. Uh, every little bit helps towards getting to where I want to be. And I'm super excited for the podcast tonight. I think it's going to be really, really fun. Yeah. It's going to be great. Hope to see you all later. And for the vlog, I'll see you next week. For Rise of the Tomb Raider, I'll see you tomorrow. And for the podcast, tonight or tomorrow. Take care, guys. Bye.